Hello everybody, I am Muddy Dragon and welcome to Book of Travels. This is a brand new game, it's just been released, it's an early access, there are problems with it, there's a lot of people trying to get on at the minute. So the servers are up and down, so here we are, right now it's taken me about 20 odd minutes to actually get on just to get to this bit here, the character creation. It is a uh, RPG uh, game, it's... A miniature multiplayer online game so they mean by that is it's very small servers so this is the character I decided to go for it's called the weatherer so your scarred and hardy storm wrecked soul so yeah with this game being an early access there's still quite a lot of stuff that they're working on with it but yeah I'm really interested I love the art style on it it looks absolutely awesome that's about close to my age we'll <laughs> go with that and if we're going to go for crafts with this, it's all part of the lore of our character and our background story, we can enter something here. Yeah, I've gone for a bit of a thing here. I like writing quite a bit and so I'm going to change it probably. Born in the southern region, Harkle grew up learning to smith weapons and armour. Once his teenage years came, he seeked adventure and to help others in need. His travels has taken him across oceans and deserts and for a time he rested. Now, the sounds of time and the call of adventure beckons to him to return to the road. So I think we're going to go with the tough one, even though the there's a few of them that say the gameplay, you know, gameplay effect not yet implemented. But so I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go for tough and empathic, and yeah, self self-sacrificing because it will uh, it will work with our character. 
So we've got some skills here. I can use some magic or rather than knots and stuff that are going on here. It mentions knots and you've got tea. Serving tea is a common practice all over the braided shore. It's also a craft connected to the mystical arts of magic and magical tea recipes it can be acquired throughout the land. So this would be quite interesting. We've got our abilities, we've got passives, we've got the actions. Got... Yeah, there's an awful lot to go through with this game. So I'm wondering what starting skill to have. This one here, Tricks of the Messenger, Mind of the Tactician, and we've got Read Strengths. I'm not too sure. I think I'll go for this one, Mind of the Tactician. So we just sorted out our voice, and these are the eye colours that you are going to have to choose from. It's quite a good selection. And it doesn't say black or orange or green and stuff like that. It's just like deep char and other stuff like that. It's really interesting. I like how they've done it. Pale Umber, because I'm also an artist, I know that they've got the Pale Umber and the Deep Umber. Yeah, these are nice colours. We're going to go with the Deep Umber. So here it is, as it mentions here, the equipment. You start with a handful of items, and yeah, you roll and see what you get. Okay, I've rolled for several minutes, and I've decided to go with this here, this bundle, because this here, this knapsack, we can hold. It's got a pocket size of six, so that's pretty good. Uh, this here is item of clothing, then we've got some food, and also this would be good for our character because it's a family token. Okay, we've gone through, and we're going to call his name, because it's uh, all done by the roll, so it's going to be Grev Vosnan. How did your journey begin? I was on a journey at sea. Hmm, I was travelling on land. Yes, I was travelling on land, and I was... He started is where he was from, the, north, uh, the south. He's travelled all over the land. He's now on the east. Okay, here we go. We've spent several minutes going through the character. So here we go. The Adventures of Grev Vosnan. The caravan rattles past mountain, swamp and sea. This journey has taken you through many lands. Already, you've seen more of this world than your homebound elders, whose heart and dreams were all they knew. Lulled by the monotony of the journey, your eyes are drawn to a spot on a hillside, a brambly side road. Not much different from a hundred others has taken hold of your heart. Grabbing your pack, you slide from your perch and land with a thud on solid ground. The caravan clatters ahead without you as you take your first steps into a world that just moments ago was nothing but scenery. Now that is absolutely perfect. Sleeping in a field, you're woken by the call of unfamiliar voices. From a bed of grass, you wake to see the faces of new friends. A flock of curious and very sociable sheep. See, I like it. They've done the whole caravan thing. I mentioned that I was traveling, I was doing it this way and that way, and it's done it so well. I really love it. So I'm guessing every character is going to have their own things. Hello there. They like you, ha. Huh? My wards are good judges of character. Are they really? So I will like you all, so thank you very much. What put you to sleep in the middle of a field, I wonder? Well, I was very tired after having such a long journey. Some omen trick stirring up pollen to make you drowsy, I bet. If you, he if you head west, you'll come upon the old road. If you follow it, it will take you to the city of crossings. That sounds good. Okay, so we'll try and head west if we decide to. We may do. It's quite a way ahead there. 
Cross the mountains and a bit. Christ. The crossing's tea house keeper is a kindly soul. Seeing someone as wayworn as you on their doorstep, they will offer you a free meal and a good rest at least. And remember, keep to the road. <laughs> Who remembers that line from uh, American Werewolf in London? Stay off the moors, keep to the road. <laughs> I love that film, it's such a good film. Lots of sheep. My gosh. Scenery is so good. Bah. I am loving this. We can give some love to the sheep. Not in the other sense of giving love to the sheep. We're just going to pet it and strip the sheep. If you'd like it, it's on Steam. It is 22 21 22 pounds. I can't remember what it will be in dollars. Ah, the oxen keeper. Hello. It is late. I am very weary. All that's carved in trade starts with seed. So for satisfaction. Agreed. Jesus Christ. That thing. Moonwalking. So, yeah, the game will have some bugs. Of course, as you'd expect. Expect there to be the occasional problem here and there if you're getting it. And expect it when you're watching as well. It's a nice little point and click little adventure. And... Ah, travelling merchant. I have no money, my friend, but I will see your wares. Hello. Oh, I see. Your journey has taken its toll on your health, my friend. Yeah, ever so slightly. <laughs> you should find a tea house and get yourself looked after. May I suggest the under the tree tea house in crossings? It is my own favourite and also happens to be closest one from where we are. I will make my way there now. Simply take the northwest junction and follow the road across the ravine. Just keep to the road and it will take you to crossings. See you further down the path. Clem. Climb? Clemen. Right, let's see what stuff he's got. I have no money. But you can, I'm guessing you can trade. You can actually give away stuff. That'd be nice. A bundle of rare spices. Farmer's field cover. This is really interesting. We've got a small cage. <laughs> Playing cards. A cane. Well, no, I think that's it for me. I don't have stuff to give you, my friend. I am so sorry. Absolutely stunning. This was made in Unity. So, yeah, it's got nice art style. I really... I really enjoy it. I'd love to know in the comments below what you think of the game so far. I know it's just early days. I've only just started walking. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning. I only saw this game a few days ago and I was like, when's it coming out? When's it coming out? And yeah, it was today. So I'm overjoyed. If you could have seen it climb or whatever on earth that <laughs> it is. A city with spires taller than trees. Sounds cool. Airships crossing the sky. Ooh, hello. Delicious dishes sparkling of fire and ice. Glass carriages travelling silent as whispers through the earth. Nice. Let's have a look at these things down here. So we've got our character. It tells us more about ourselves. Oh, we're level one. Got life petals. Okay. Life. Your life petals are what keeps you alive in this world. You lose a life petal each time you lose each time you lose all your energy. Beware of losing all of your life petals and take good care of your body on your travels. Oh crap. Does that mean it's game over if we die? Like seriously, game over. Right, here's our backpack. We know about all that. Here's our skills. We've got the map. Yeah, this is nice. This is really nice. So that's where we're heading to. Or should we head the other way, actually, now that I think about it? Right, let's see, because we can gather. Things from the floor and like trees and stuff like that. So it should have some stuff. Chestnut shells. There we go. So I'm going to head back over this way and go over here to this part. So what I'm going to do is have a quick walk around and get onto the path. And I will see you all in a minute. Okay, so we've just headed north and 
Here we are. What we got here? Coroner Sentry. Hello. This way is blocked by orders of the coroners of the Acting Arch Council. Please find an alternative route to travel. We have orders to stop anyone who tries to pass. Ah. Well, okay then, I will head back. Well, this is nice. So, I, yeah, last night I lost connection to it. Everyone lost connection to it, don't they? Because of all the server problems. And now I'm on it in the morning and we're back up and running. And of course, it's morning now in here. And of course, we're wet. If you can hear in the background, subtle noise of the rain. Absolutely astonishing. Astonishing, really good noises in this game. Really nice. And so we've got these two guys here. And of course, there's a problem with their machine. Ah, hello, Wanderer. We are students of the mechanic principles. But I must confess, our machine has us all baffled, even though we built it ourselves. It is not running as intended. We'll be laughed out of the university if we can't get it right. Perhaps you, as a far-travelled person, have insights that may shine a sobering light on this mystery for us. If you do, please take a look at our schematic and tell us what you see. Right, who's got it then? Okay, you got it. Okay, this is interesting. In Whether individually or as a group, endeavours often test the challenges of talents in either mechanics, spirituality, physicality or sociality. This is really cool. What's this overcome? I expect reward, various kind of items. Okay, that's quite nice. So I guess I'm going to have to come back to this place sometime soon because I don't know how to fix this bloody thing. Yes, we've just travelled along the pathway. We've just reached this new area. We've got the old man here. I fear for our youth, Clem. Everywhere I look, I see evidence of gambling seeping back into the fabric of braided shore life. We made great efforts in my day to suppress the playing of the game of passage. Still, the younger generation appear to fail comprehending the risk. The youngsters do not know all the dark details of the origin of this game. I fear perhaps we elders ultimately is to blame for this tragedy. We hid its mystic truths and focuses on preaching the dangers of playing. I now realise that impressionable folk tend to be drawn to the forbidden, particularly if the prohibited subject involves some mystery. I have heard rumours of gambling going on in secret basement dens in Casa, but Sasha and the Voices Tavern. Even in the out-of-the-way place like Kuro Orchard, a whisper is floating around about a secret cult of subversive gamblers. Interesting. So be warned, Wanderer, don't fall for the lure of the Scutamara. Reject the handling of soul-sapping passage cards. I shall. I shall. Thank you for the warning, my friend. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Got a train at the back. Awesome. Well, I am actually on the way to the uh, train guy's house. Where is he? Train warden's house. That's where I'm going to head to in a moment. Just have a look at these people first. See if I can talk to anyone. That's quite nice. We've got a train. It looks pretty darn neat. I like that. Oops, get some of these. Here we go. What we got in this one? Acorns. We've got quite a lot of acorns now. We've been finding feathers and all sorts of bits and pieces. So what I would like to do is to, well, get some rest at some point. And I'd still need to go all the way back to uh, try and find the spot that everyone was talking about. So I've just been to the trader who was over here. And we bought a book which lets us learn the Velen Tongue language. So we've just gone all the way around. And uh, yeah, we've reached the house now at last. We're out of the rain, partially. So we have the bridge sentry guy. 
you look worse for wear, Clem. So I'm going to keep saying Clem because I don't know how to pronounce that word. At the moment, I don't. You should go get looked after at the nearest tea house. I'd bloody like to if I could find the damn thing. Go across the bridge and keep heading west. Okay, I will do that. Along the road and you will soon come to the city of crossings. Bloody hell, this is where I've been going to, is this place. I've been travelling towards crossings for a long time. Wow. Wow, we're on our way. <laughs> Just keep heading across and we'll get there. Suffering as you are, the woman running the tea house there will take care of you, I wager. And for Sephra's sake, take the pedestrian bridge. Do not walk on the train tracks. Yeah, I know that. I saw the train go past earlier. Unfortunately, the coroners have closed the local train station. Otherwise, you could have taken the train. Alas, it would have been a mighty short trip, but it could have been fun for you, being a foreigner and all. There's nothing around here. We've got a blend of blend of bevor. Okay, can we have a drink of it? Can we try it? What's it like? We are recharging your stamina. Oh, awesome! At last. Well, it's energy I need, not really the stamina. A tea that increases your haste. Effect is plus three speed, one endurance. Effect time active for 360 seconds. Not too bad, I must say. Not bad at all. There's nothing else around here. You have to really keep your eyes... Hello. Keep your eyes open for everything. And there's so many things that you could miss out on. Like a little tiny speck on the floor like this. You have to watch out for everything. Hello, kitty. You can trade with a cat. What the fuck? A premium train token. The cat has got a train token. And for the trade, it's actually a lot more to get it off the cat. 700 it's going to cost me, so I need to come back with a lot of fish or something. Oh. <laughs> All my stuff combined. Everything I own, everything is no good for the cat. But yeah, this game, stunning scenery, absolutely gorgeous. I am loving this game and it's nice to have the servers up and running at the minute we'll see if we get kicked off anytime soon but yeah when i joined a, about 40 minutes ago there were about what was it four or five servers and they all had well there's a lot more servers than that but they were on four or five of those servers there was pretty much uh, six or seven people on each one which is roughly uh, a full so I think the highest amount you can get is eight or nine people on a server. I could be wrong. I'll have to double check. And it's really nice, and they're expanding on it constantly. And I can't wait to see where this game goes and where I go to as well. So I will be giving this game ten out of ten because it's a nice change of pace for me. I love exploring. Skyrim had me busy for a very long time when I was younger. Elder Scrolls Oblivion, I completed that game. That was amazing. I even did the DLCs for it. That was so much fun. Way, we're train spotters today. See, as I mentioned, always keep your eyes open. Look at that. You could have missed that. Anyone could have missed that. So many small details for you to watch out for. And there we go. We've got ourselves a fragile pear wood stick. And a beggar's simple cloth body wear. I'm going to take all of them. We'll equip this stick. And then we will change this across. Because that one there, that's my old clothing. It has no slots in it. This one's got two pocket slots. So yeah, now we're, we're going up in the world. <laughs> we're going up in the world. <laughs> arrived at crossings it's taken me a while to get here let's let me just tell you that right now it's taken a while 
as L train to toot. We have reached the tea house and now we're going to sit down and have some jade brew because this one here should replenish our energy apparently so that's going to be nice here we are <laughs> now that we've had a tea we're going to talk to ava winds mercy traveler what's happened to you you look like you've been dragged through both hells of the underworld here rest yourself let me serve you this some tea and then a hot meal look at your clothes well i've changed my clothes i have a mending knot and some clothes somewhere and some cloth somewhere lying around there good as new and welcome traveler to the house under the tree you have the look of the clem about you i would not be surprised if you are headed for the dandelions temple near bat sasha a saha that place has always had a mythical connection with wanderers. The shortest way to the temple is taking the road to the northwest, to the western verve location uh, junction, where you can catch a ferry to Bat Saha. Once in Bat Saha, <laughs> once in Bat Saha, walk southwards along the shore, and the temple should reveal itself to you. Welcome back anytime, Traveller. Awesome! So we've got some bits here, but we can't really take it. Because our inventory is full! So we're going to have to talk to someone and try and trade some stuff and stuff like that. Well, now we've got our new clothes on. We've got some food. We've also got full energy. Just about full energy. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you've enjoyed this. See, once again, Book of Travels is on Steam. It's an early access, so yeah, expect some bugs and maybe some issues with the servers here and there. But so far, it's been all right. It was just the very first night of those few hours. It was pretty hectic. So once again, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel, smash like, and hit the bell button to be informed whenever I bring out a new video. I will see you all next time for more of this. Bye for now.